Hey buddy, it's John with Planet Tech, and I'm on a little holiday break, but I decided to mash up a bunch of tutorials and put them into a, a little collective uh, themed video. So in this one, it's fantasy themed, and in Copper Q5, well, I'm not going to say you could do a full-fledged RPG. You could do something mission-based. So in this, we have basically many missions that uh, that surround you basically either collecting stuff, destroying enemies, bosses, quests, uh, basic RPG and fantasy based you know, hack and slash type games. So we have a main mission area which is this hut and we're gonna uh, decorate the area a little bit uh, so it's just not like plain J. We have at least one mission area. This is like a little uh, cave area. And then you fade into another like uh, cave themed area where you're going to just defeat some enemies, collect some stuff, come back, and re get the, re uh, th the gold or what special item from this old dude. So this old dude has a quest for you. And so far, uh, the code right now, it's just on proximity. And we're going to be, it uh, has something to do with uh, a 2D overlay in which you change text on it. It says, hey, I have a mission for you. Are you interested? And then you answer and collect it. And then variables where, you know, the one and zero variable. Zero meaning no missions at hand. One means, hey, you've accepted one. Go do it. Come back. It becomes a zero again. And then a simple messaging system to where it says once you've accepted it, the guy's going to, he's going to change how he talks and says, hey, go do uh, my mission. You know, he's going to keep saying that and different little alterate, uh, different little, you know, different ways of saying it, but basically the same thing. Uh, so this guy does have some animations. So he's able to, you know, he's going to sit down. And then he has a, um, a walk. And then an idle sit. And so you're going to collect the, um, the mission from him. And then I'm thinking about indicating on some uh, RPGs and fantasy hack and slashes. They have little indicators above the head. I was thinking about in, uh, putting in a basic system like that. We have our main guy. He's This is the static guy. Uh, basically the non-animated one. I am currently a animating him in Mixamo, which is a free Adobe animation editor. Importing him into Blender, creating some custom animations uh, that they didn't have uh and then i'm going to be animating the skeleton dude because he's going to be our bad guy so basically you're going to kill a couple skeleton dudes uh collect something that the mage or old dude left um in, in the caves and then you're going to get a reward and then we're going to move on from there so a health system uh an inventory system um, the inventory system, it sounds like it's going to create a little bit of issue, but I think I have an ideal f idea for it. Um, and then in my next uh, little mini tutorial series, I have more of a Doom slash dungeon type crawler. Uh, kind of mystery based I, again these are like very loose stories just to help me create the tutorial for them um, so you guys can be like oh I get what you're saying and then you guys can create something around it uh, so basically I have a couple ideas going around this one you a kill Zombie monsters think of doom basically uh, humans turn into zombies you collect weapons and you shoot them now whether you are a person who is being tested on or You're the hero who's decided, you know, I'm the marine who's gonna stop all this blah 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 um, So basically very mobile friendly type 
almost dungeon crawler. Again, you got some, maybe some holographic dudes. Um, I'm trying to create a, a bunch of things that you can easily like use in your own games. And then we have a weapon, sh uh, a weapon uh, switching system, ammo, some special effects. Uh, Copper Cube needs to upgrade its effects abilities. Um, and then all the light in here is just global illumination. Uh, our basic enemy right now is just a 2D plane. Yeah, so uh, this one's more like it, it's it's less de uh, developed as the other one. The other one I'm trying to get a little bit quicker. This one I I, I want fleshed out a little bit more. Uh, story wise, all my tutorials usually have a theme. Um, yeah, so that's it for like these right now. And then my construct two tutorials are on a, a different computer. Uh, no, my uh, car. Yeah, Construct 2, but basically it was a uh, card game that I'm working on. Um, and then some sort of like zombie, top-down zombie shooter uh, that I'm continuing for the uh, Construct 2 YouTube page. So again, guys, uh, post down below on some other stuff that you would like to see me do videos on. I'm actually moving to S2 Engine. I'll link that down below. But I played around with their engine. I've decided to, over the holiday, get it and then do some tutorials on that. It's a little bit more envelop, uh, developed engine. So uh, at this point, it only ports to PC instead of mobile or whatever. Uh, this is why I still kind of like Copper Key because even though it's basic and not as, you know, defined in, su in features, it works re relatively well. You don't have that many issues with it. Uh, so yeah, just comment down below on engines and other stuff that you want me to take a look at. I am on holiday uh, for roughly 35 days before I start my uh, my next semester at college. Uh, my last one at college. So that's going to be kind of fun. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. This was just kind of an update while I'm on Christmas break. So see you later, guys.